I just wanted to inform you of my observation. I have my observation here. You know, I got a copy of the questionnaire. Nibosh, Management of Health and Safety. Management of International Health and Safety. IGC-1. Hmm? Ito yun. Ah, this is the questionnaire. Somebody shared this to me. Ah, including the... Um, including the question and answer part. Alright. Now, friends. Uh, before I used to pay high regard on people who pass NIBOS exam. Uh, during our time, the NIBOS examination is actually a rigid, rigid examination. You have invigilators, you have people watching your um, space that nobody is uh, intervening or helping you during the examination period uh, we can we can say that it is really a rigid exam because there is a, a an allocated time for you to finish the examination and the question is really directed into the items that we had discussed during the um, Nibos discussion and I had observed that the the Nibos exam has changed a lot when ISO 45001 came into implementation. Right after the implementation of ISO 45001, Nibos had changed a lot, including the scenario, scenario type, and the question and answer out from the scenario. This is all taken from ISO 45001. Correct? Is there anybody uh, provided the scenario system? This is not the NIBOS we used to know. Uh, but for the past online board exam, they have the scenario and they have the questionnaire uh, task part. Uh, imagine what I really do not like in this um, in, in the few series of NIBOS examination. Because the last time I remember there was an examination wherein related to waste collection. Friends, in NIBOS administration, those who are in the NIBOS organization, look, this looks like uh, a laughing stock in the, in the profession. Imagine engineers are taking your program and passing your examination. We are building high-rise building. We have roadworks with an employee of more than a thousand. And safety officers with, with 15 safety officers. I have also one renovation project. I have seven safety officers. Only safety officers. And imagine the equation here. We have 50 is to one. 50 workers with one safety officer. If you have seven, multiply that into 50. That is the total number of employees. And your exam, look, look at your exam, the scenario. Check the scenario. In this examination alone, based on the scenario, is only four full-time workers and there are two part-time. Look, I'm not, um, I'm not contented with it. I would like to supply you with other information. Ah. Full-time workers of... Um, Four and part-time two. This is retail store selling shoes and shoe care products. Come on. Nibos exam. Your scenario is four, four employee, regular employee, and two part-timer. And passing this examination with all the scenarios and the questions. How can these people become prestigious 
bringing your having having your certificate in their professional portfolio portfolio for oil and gas high rise building sewerage project huh? local roads and drainage we have uh, hospital buildings we have high rise commercial building privately owned we have bridges with workers of 700 to 500 and your examination scenario is an organization with four employees and two part-timers are you sure did you did you did you properly discuss the scenario are you happy with people passing the passing the examination with a scenario of four employees and two part-timers for a regular employee and two part-timers what process what methodology is this organization qualifies your local legislation in uk you have your local legislation that at certain number you need to have regular safety advisor and in your scenario i think three or four um, um, scenarios three or four OBE exam the scenario is very small small organization the last time it was waste collection company uh, the second time it was car showroom with salesman what process you can get out from there well i don't feel the significance of health and safety management in that car showroom hmm. that was the last time then before that it was waste collection company of how many workers four you will be conducting daily meeting of four employees so one speaker one delivering the and one delivering the meeting the message of the safety meeting and three audience uh, look at that scenario is this the type of prestigious examination what is the value what is the value of even if you perfect the exam your examination is only for four employee in selling shoes and shoe care products <coughs> <coughs> sorry see mm. and look your questions here look at your questions are you happy with this uh, let me repeat so that you will understand uh, how can um, safety practitioners how can the safety practitioners huh, value your certificate you have a first aid arrangement first aid arrangement <coughs> of four employees huh? are you sure is there any crucial thing for four four workers now look we have first aid kit one first aid kit that will cover 15 people and in your scenario only four employees hmm. next management failures and failures and control measures management failures and control measures based on the scenario only what management failure could have contributed to this accident you are very particular of accident of an organization with only four workers showroom selling shoes and shoe care products <laughs> my friends we have almira almira do you know how many workers in almira uh, what about our showroom next to Jarer, beside Jarer in Salwa Road. Their employee is more than that. So therefore, your scenario is just what we call here in the local. We call that bakala. Oh. Your scenario is just a bakala. And you want people, you want professionals to study what's wrong with bakala. And you want to make them what? Safety managers, safety engineers with your certificate for making it perfect during the examination or oh, your scenario is bakala four workers my god 
management failure, reporting of accident, roles and responsibility of manager. Four employee? Are you sure? Mm. Uh, induction training, four workers. Uh, the current store manager has asked you to compile the accident, the, the induction pack. My God. To ensure that the information given to all new workers is consistent. Four workers. Uh, every six months you are conducting a uh, safety induction. This is safety induction. Now we are not talking here of tollback stock. Because tollback stock should be provided every week. No. Your current store manager has asked you to compile an induction pack to help ensure that information is given to all new workers. What new workers you are talking here? No. Your, your, your store is only Bakala with four regular employees and two part-timers. What information is needed? This is Bakala, my friend. Even if you complete the scenario, how a safety top, uh, top notcher in the exam becomes effective in high-rise building, oil and gas, manufacturing with uh, 300, 300 employees, and your scenario is only four. Friends, let me ask you. Those administration enables, please, Refine your uh, scenario. Make your scenario um, makes us all confident in having the certificate with a scenario of Bakala. You don't have any other uh, organizations there that you can make as an example. You don't have a, a workplace with 50 employees. You don't have any high-rise building. You don't have bridge, uh, bridge construction or any manufacturing company with at least considerable number. Not like this one, four, four employee. I hope this will reach to the administration of the Bosch. Uh, I, really, I will take a photo, a, a video clip of those uh, store that I had, that I had uh, mentioned a while ago. We have a very good uh, store here. Look. I am in front of one bakala. If you are going to look at it, huh? this bakala may have more than four employees. Uh. But even the local laws does not require them to have safety officer. Does an organization same like this requires risk management? Does the management requires a safety advisor to complete the pack of safety induction and compile the informations? For what? How many times in a year you are going to induct people in a small bakala like in the scenario only for employee? I do not know what's the even I myself, I do not know should I be proud of being a Nebos uh, Nebos uh, certified? Should I be proud of this? With your look at your previous uh, series uh, scenario, you had provided a very lesser organization, an organization of only four employees, organization of only waste collection company with five employees. Oh. Does it make sense? And your graduates, your uh, certified people are managing oil and gas pipeline works, drilling company. Uh, heavy industries and your example my friend is only bakala of shoes with four employees even if I'm going to master even if I'm going to perfect this exam what uh, what prestige I could um, I could carry in my portfolio I top the Nibos exam of a scenario of only four employees Sailing shoes. Ah, hi.